In the past nine days, Indonesia, Mongolia, and Thailand have crossed paths with defending champions South Korea in the ongoing 2018 Asian Games men's basketball tournament in Jakarta. All three had as much chance as a guy standing in front of a firing squad, losing by an average of 38 points. The host Indians were first to fall in a 104-65 bloodbath last August 14. Two days later, the Mongols were punctured by a flurry of 15 made threes which led to a 108-73 flogging. And then on Wednesday, the Koreans dropped 40 assists in a 117-77 laugher over the ties. Three games. Three victims. Three more wins for the gold dot somewhere out there, the immortal Shin Dong Pao beams with pride. His legacy endures, carried on by a younger breed who can shoot the lights out while exhibiting a manner of play that is unselfish and fundamentally sound. In their three-game romp heading into next week's quarterfinals, the Koreans have converted 78 of 128 two-point field goals, 60. 9% and 42 of 96 threes, 43.7%. They've also swished 47 of 63 free throws, 74. 6% Although defense is not their strongest link, the Koreans are quick on their feet. They defend the three-point line reasonably well, allowing only 25 of 73 trays for a stingy 34. 2% clip. And as evidenced by 38 steals in three outings, they can harass the passing lanes like a murder of crows. Unlike the formidable Chinese, whose length was stretched by two seven-footers, the Koreans only have former PBA import Ricardo Ratliff as their tallest player at six foot eight. Three other guys Kim Jun Il, Choi Jun Yong and Kang Sang Jae stand at six foot seven, while the rest are six foot five and under, including Her Hun who is only five foot eleven. Unlike the China which was bolstered by two active NBA players, South Korea is made up exclusively of pros playing in the Korean Basketball League, KBL. But if you fall asleep on them, guys like Junbi and Jian, Ung Hyo, Lee Young Hai and Lee and Lee Soon Hai and can inflict considerable damage. Even with their lack of ceiling, which is by design, because they put more premium on speed and quickness, the Koreans have outrebounded their foes, 128-84. Korea's offense is a joy to watch. It's a blur of perpetual motion, where the ball moves around crisply until a wide open shot yields. It's an attack anchored on discipline and teamwork, and executed into an art form. This is why Korean basketball is one of the most decorated programs in all of Asia with 9 gold medals and 24 overall, according to Wikipedia. But heel as Pilipinas is anything but awestruck. They are intent on derailing their old nemesis, a goal that is more highly conceivable than most people think. And here's why dot against a much shorter lineup compared to China's Jordan Clarkson will have a 40-minute all-game pass in the paint. Six days after falling short against the Chinese, 82-80, Clarkson will be fresh, unencumbered by the inconveniences of jet lag and thigh cramps. Ricardo Ratliff, a naturalized Korean citizen who has so far hauled in 70 points and 39 rebounds in three outings, will demand multiple bodies to contain. But I believe in Bo Belga, one of Sorsigan's finest sons. He is six feet and five inches of desire, 280 pounds of pure intimidation. I have faith in six foot eight robo-rebounder Christian Stand Hardinger as well. The 29-year-old half-German is a full-blooded workhorse. With an average age of 27, the Koreans are young and energetic. 
but there is a lot to like about Gila's combined 380 years of age experience, smarts, and toughness. The Koreans are coached by 52-year-old Her Jae, a two-time Olympian who still holds the record for most points in a FIBA World Cup match after erupting for 54 points against Egypt in 1990. But Yang Giao, 59 and a former up Maroon, is as decorated as a Christmas tree seven PBA titles and two PBA Coach of the Year honors. A plug-in for the suspended Chat Reyes, he has commanded the heel as troops with the poise of a field marshal, understanding the enemy, pushing all the right buttons, and impeccably managing player rotations. A strict adherence to the basic tenets of basketball will be required to topple the Koreans, box out. Stay with the ball, avoid leaks. And close out on the long-distance shooters. On offense, an egalitarian game plan that is creative and aggressive will have to be devised. There are things in life which you simply have to put in God's hands. In basketball, you entrust everything in your coach's lap. In our hoops crazy republic of the Philippines, the battle cry echoes. In Yang we trust, 